Hello, this is Gary Simon of designcores.com and today we have an all new video for you and an all new topic. Today is January 9th and we're going to be focusing on designing some mobile GUI graphic user interface or GUI elements. So the first one we're going to start off with today is going to be rather complex so we're just going to start and focus on that one today only and that's going to be like a radial percentage loading bar. So we're going to use Adobe Photoshop CC to do this and as always if you need access to the project files they're available for free in the description below this video and also as always check out designcourse.com and put in your email address alright let's get started let's go to file new and I'm gonna leave this at 850 by 550 and I'm just gonna zoom up here to hundred percent I'm gonna get rid of these panels now for the background color let's go ahead and choose basically color code is 3A, 3A, 3A. And let's go ahead and take the ellipse tool and I'm just going to choose a slightly lighter color. And I'm going to hold shift and drag out right around there. Okay, so I uh, basically this is going to be a circular percentage loading bar. So there's any number of ways we can approach this so this is just a design that I came up with so you'll find it's going to be a lot of copying layers duplicating layers and a lot of work with the layer style panel so we'll go ahead um, now basically I want this initial one to be black here so we're going to change it to black and then we're going to duplicate it and we're going to be duplicating a lot of layers, so I would just do the shortcut. So hit Control T and Shift and Alt, and right around there, select the Move tool and hit Apply. And this one we're going to make lighter, so we'll get that color, but maybe just a little bit lighter, like right there. All right. I uh, now actually I do want to make this a. Um, a gradient. So what I'll do is just double click on the right side of the layer, bring up grade, this layer styles, choose gradient overlay, and we'll make this 135 for the angle, and then we'll click on this and we'll choose the first preset, which is always your foreground and background. And I'm gonna make this isn't gonna be so white. I'll just turn it down right around there, which is seven six seven six seven six. And then this one is just going to be slightly darker over here, which is 4A, 4A, 4A. So let's hit OK. And then I also want to put an inner shadow. So we'll select that. We'll just change blend mode to more normal. We're going to take opacity 100% just for now. We're going to take the size to 0 and the distance to 1. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the color now if we take this color right here we want something that just just barely stands out so you'll see a very slight edge basically where we can see a highlight all right so now that we have that done I now I want to actually create a bar in here like the actual loading portion which is going to be green so to do that I'm going to go ahead and take this first layer right here, right click, hit duplicate, and hit control T and just scale it in slightly. I'm going to say maybe right around there. Hit hit apply. And for the color, we're going to change it here. Actually, we'll change the color um We'll, we'll do that differently. What we want to do is hit Control shift n for a new layer. And we want this to be a clipping mask. We'll just call this green. And then hit OK. And then we take our pen tool, make sure shape is specified. And we'll change the color here to like a lime green. And I'm going to just 
click outside here at the top somewhere and then come down here and go all the way around and connect it and then hit control H alright then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this top layer right here, select it with auto select layer, or you just click over here. And we're going to double click on the right side to bring up the layer styles. And I'm going to choose an outer glow. I'm going to change the blend mode to normal. One second. This is going off screen, unfortunately. Just choose normal on blend mode. And then we'll take the color down to black and we'll take the size up. Now you may want to experiment with this spread and the size. For now I'm just going to leave it there. Hit OK. And then I want to take the this layer right here and actually no, we're going to choose this layer above. Double click it. Choose Inner Shadow. Or rather inner glow sorry about that choose normal once again and we'll take the color here to black and I think that looks pretty good just for the time being alright and I also want to take this layer right here and give it an inner shadow or maybe a drop shadow instead yeah, a drop shadow, we'll go ahead and select normal. Take the size down to zero and the distance to one. Opacity up to 100 and then change the color to something lighter, like right around there. So we have this little rim going around there. Hit OK and then OK. And then with our type tool, we'll put in, we'll say just 65%. Drag this to the top. Control T, scale it up to right around here, hit apply, change the color here to white, and I'm going to get rid of the percentage por portion, and I'm going to duplicate that, push it over here, put percentage, and then select the move tool, hit Control T, shift and scale up. Right around there looks good. And we can take both of these and move them. Okay, I uh, so then what I want to do is now this may or may not be necessary uh, as a design element, but uh, I'll figure I'll show show you how to do it anyhow. Uh, basically, right above this green layer, we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna take the ellipse tool and we're going to hold shift and just scale right there. And then what we want to do is take the direct selection tool, which is right here, and we're going to change the fill right here to a gradient. And then also radial. We'll invert that so the white is in the center. And we'll take this color and make, make it just the background right here. And then also take this top color picker here and hit zero for the opacity. All right. so. Let's hit Control T just to scale that up. Select Apply to move. Hopefully you can't hear any of my sick children downstairs. They're like barfing up lungs. It's crazy. Anyhow, uh, then what we want to do, I'm going to go back to that. So direct selection layer. Click up here. We're going to push this down and then put another one right here. And then for this middle one, we're going to change it just to like a very light green. So it kind of has, now has like a green hint, but in the center it's white. Hit OK. All right. And we can also duplicate this real quick. So duplicate that layer, put it above, and then just drop down the intensity just so it kind of over or casts onto this rather. OK, so I. Uh, now what we could do is take this uh, background layer, let's call it background real quick, and create a new layer, Control shift n just hit Enter. And we'll take the gradient tool, left click and drag out, 
we'll take the background color and then just choose a slightly lighter color and then I think that's okay just to kind of make it look like a shadow is being cast and then finally if you wanted to it's not necessary but uh just for showcasing we could take a color here uh, to black to foreground and we can select right around here hold shift and select out and then hold alt here and left click then hold shift take the direct selection to tool take both of those by holding shift and get it well we want to go right around here right around here all right and then we'll move this to the top well actually no we'll move this let me see where is that at right there all right hit control H and then we can right click and rasterize that layer bring down the opacity and take the eraser tool I think 156 looks like it would work kind of well and then take the blur tool and then we could take the eraser tool again get a larger brush around 280 and take the opacity down like to halfway and that way it kind of just fades off all right yeah I'm not sure if that was really necessary but I uh, I think that would be a good place to end we're already at 11 minutes so I in the next I uh, video for tomorrow we'll go ahead and add more interface elements to this design uh, all right so as always visit designcourse.com and please I uh, drop down that description below this video here in YouTube if you're watching on YouTube and check out the Facebook page the Twitter page and the Google Plus page and like them if you will all right I will see you tomorrow all right goodbye